Today I thought I'd film a quick video for all of you because I feel like love is in the air. Everybody's biggest wish is to meet the one and to spend the rest of their lives with that one person. I mean, unless your wish is to be in a polyamorous relationship, but you know, that's neither here nor there. That person you can share everything with, the person who will listen to all of your problems and you can love for the rest of your life. Anyway, I thought I'd tell you a story about how I got stood up. This is a story that actually happened about maybe a couple months ago, maybe six or seven. This was during my long process of getting over my four year long relationship, which was absolutely devastating to get out of. I, it was terrible. For anybody who's going through a long breakup, I totally get it. It's, it's dreadful. Time heals all wounds, but it's not an easy road to cross. Anyway, a good friend of mine had recommended using a dating app. I won't say which dating app it was, but um, I ended up signing up for it. Let me just say, I'm not good at dating apps. I feel like I have that kind of personality that you have to get to know in person. Like on the internet, I'm a funny guy, you know, a fun guy. But over text, forget it. It's like talking to a sentient brick wall. Anyway, I had been using this dating app for about, I would say a week or two when I matched with this one girl. Let's call her Sarah. And me and this Sarah girl ended up talking and we continued talking for quite a long time, around two weeks. And it was great. I thought we were great for each other. She was super sweet, nerdy, funny, and I also was into stuff. We had FaceTimed around maybe three times the entire two weeks we've known each other, and I thought, you know what? I think it's time, I think I'm gonna ask this girl on a, on a real date. She lived in the LA area, and at the time I was not living in LA, so I was going to make it a note to drive down to LA um, after work, uh, at five o'clock in traffic, all the way down to the Santa Monica Pier for a date. And she accepted, she said she was totally great with going. So the day comes, I go to work, and the entire day I am so nervous, I hadn't been on a date in so long. So my shift ends, I drive down to uh, the Santa Monica Pier, which took me about maybe two hours, and I end up texting her saying, hey, I'm here, let me know when you arrive. I would say about maybe 30 minutes pass, and I end up texting her again saying like, hey, where you at, I'm here. Another. 30 minutes pass and I sent her another text don't hear anything an entire hour passes I call her I get no response at this point I'm feeling like I'm in the twilight zone I'm like what is happening right now like there's no way I, I could have been stood up right like she knows I drove two hours to get here right so you know what I end up uh giving her the benefit of the doubt and I wait for maybe another 30 minutes at this point I had been waiting around three hours I have not heard from her. I have not seen her. I even looked back through the text to see if maybe I got the date wrong or there was a miscommunication. No, I said this day at this time. Now, maybe about a couple months ago, I would have been devastated by this. Maybe I would have cried. Maybe I would have, you know, been like, girl, curse all women. How dare they? But you know what? At this point, I just kind of laughed got out of my car and I spent the entire day at Santa Monica Pier by myself. And in doing so, I actually met someone who ended up becoming one of my best friends at the pier. And that best friend is now currently my roommate. Moral of this really short story I'm telling today is that bad things can happen and you can choose to either let them get the best of you or make the best that you can out of it. Obviously, more severe situations must be handled a little bit differently, but most situations it's all about perspective. If I had chosen to let this get the better of me, cry and drive home listening to Believe from the Polar Express, I would have never met this amazing person who I ended up living with a couple months later. If you're going through a difficult situation, I just want to let you know that it does get better, things always get better. I mean, granted I'm still single and uh, terrible with women, but you know, you win some, you lose some. Anyway, thanks for listening and I'll see you in the next one. I never did uh, end up hearing from Sarah again, I think she blocked my number. I don't know why. <laughs> Was it my anime figurine collection? It might have been that.